everyone, welcome back. So we're here stood today in front of a firefight table full of tanks and aircraft and infantry, <coughs> vehicles, all kinds of amazing stuff. I've been here at Mantic for a few months now and this is the game that I've been waiting to get stuck into and play, been waiting to talk about it. And it's here, so Ronnie, can you tell me more about firefights? Yeah, absolutely Dan, will do. So, I mean let's start with the big thing, Firefight won Game of the Year last year. So you might have you might have heard about some of the small sci-fi games that have come out in the last couple of months. Small fry, sprats, you know? Yeah, small. correct. We're talking about this is the whale. This is the big guy now. A um, little bit of history, we've got Dead Zone, going to Kickstarter a few, few more long years ago. Beautiful skirmish sci-fi game. Five, six, seven, eight figures. Scale of the Warpath, first time didn't quite get it right. Uh, last year, a game called Firefight came out, which was taking your Dead Zone figures, battles making it bigger. Beautiful, slick game, game of the year as we said. Take the same minis, so that faction you painted, mm -hmm. now as a squad. Add a few vehicles, add a few more figures, add some weapons, and off you go, and, off, and you're up and running. And, and we're kind of, it's a beautiful game, it's a beautiful universe. It's time to come back to it, make it better, polish it up. So, you know, what's the strap line? I think the game of the year is going to get better. Uh, so I think kind of we've got a couple of weeks now just talking and being excited about this wonderful firefight game in the more part of the universe. Mm -hmm. Hopeful. Brilliant. I, I'm very excited about the tanks and the vehicles, especially. Yep. That's why I've not built my yep. army yet, because yep. I know we'll come on to it later, but we're about to go quite tanky. Yeah. Um, well, and lots of other vehicles too. But around that, why should I play Firefight? Yeah, and that's a great question. And there's a, yeah, we've got a lot of people that love Kings of War. And you know, we know Kyle Brzezinski, who is a huge Kings of War fan. And the first game he ever played that really turned his head was Firefight. Oh. Because it's so slick. And I don't think it's neither or. They, they, they scratch totally different itches. But the, and what we did was when we came back to this, we've got, of course you've got the combined arms, you've got the cinematic and elegant feel that you'd expect in any mounted game. But in terms of getting it absolutely right um, with, it, with the core mechanics, uh, <coughs> this game's it. There's a few things that are a bit unique, aren't there? Th there is. There is. And, there's a few, and I think the first thing is, if you have not played it, then there's a great series of videos that we did just a year ago that give you all the basics. Now we're going to talk a little bit about how we're just tweaking those, but in terms of understanding the basic mechanics, the video that Matt and Rob did last year is absolutely knockout. And so, if the, at the point you're at, mm. you know, I know you did watching that video yes. and that series of videos that talk you through it, it's there. And if you if you just watch the first one, you get a real flavour for it. Um, and I would recommend it. And there's of course go to the companion app and download the rules. They're there. What you're going to see is something that's beautiful and elegant. And then if you're a King to War player, there's a few things that are, that are, that are better, different, but for a sci-fi setting, I think make it more mm. crunchy and more fun and more uh, cinematic and thematic, which we're all trying to work in. Sounds good. So, alternative activations. Yep. I go a tank, you go a infantry unit. I go a tank weapon, you go a... We don't all stand back and politely wait for... You did, well, you have that 20 minutes of getting annihilated. <laughs> yes. And then 20 minutes of being, mm. doing some annihilation. Yep. Which I, it, is still, it still hurts when you get your tank whipped off, but then, you know, you're straight back at it with an iron ancestor and smack them on in the chops. So, a yep. lot more dynamic, a lot more quick and back and forth. It's, a, it's, about, your, you know, it's about your leader. Mm -hmm. Your line of sight comes from your leader. Your movement is around your leader. So you measure one guy and move the rest up. Yep. And that feels, again, kind of sci-fi modern war game look here you go i'm in the building let's get the fire guy and let's dot them around let's play so quick slick you know we know what the the, the forge fathers they're ter determined they're tough they're slow yes. they're heavily armored yep um, and each army has its own schematic but things like your command dice mean you can't always do the things you want to do or how you combine to do those little uh, brilliant and really good fun mm. okay so the game sounds great and i've been having a look at some of the things that i could use to get into it properly. Yep. So let's talk about them. Yeah. So I mean, there's obviously there's a two-player starter set, um, I, but everything hangs from these core rule book, mm. and we've got an update to that coming out, and that's kind of why we're focusing back on this, which is called Command Protocols. And I think if you're into the game, that's where you 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 know you, you just one one pickup will bring you up to speed. It's got the maze on lads, it's got everything that's been refined and developed, it's all in there, all in one book, just updates everything up. And if you're getting started, 
He's also where you start. Perfect. So this is the game I've basically wanted to play since I was about 10 years old. It's tanks, it's helicopters and planes and walkers, it's those vehicle amazing scenes you remember from the movies, pretty much. Sweeping in, everything exploding, wonderful stuff. Bringing that to your tabletop, basically that's why we've made Annihilation, isn't it? Yeah, at least I mean, that is that dream, isn't it? It's that vision of the big battle. Mm -hmm. And I think with fantasy, you can kind of see, because there's lots more troops and a few dragons and a few... Yeah, yeah. Whereas, how do you do it here? Well, it has to be vehicles. It has mm. to be vehicles, because there isn't something intrinsically exciting about 400 sci-fi figures. Mm. And I think, so what we've come, come up with Annihilation is adding, you know, the curse-esque kind of vision of um, tanks that are interacting off-planet. There's, there's off-field bombardments, there's anti-tank weapons, there's planes flying in in squadrons. Um, there's just a whole breadth mm. of gameplay that we've factored in that works now and um, their own missions so you don't play like an infantry mission with a load of tanks no no they're specially themed around the army list and the way you select them i know i've seen i've seen some of these these things like crew rescues and there's yeah but, but you can you can make your own of course you can do armored columns and ambushes like we have set up here correct and, and you've also just got set up and battle mm. but with a different army list and a different army structure and more relevant to the types of things you're going to have against them. So it just adds a whole load of colour and character and and wowness to I think a, a gaming space that's become a little uh, one dimensional you know just in terms of here's a couple of vehicles and here's a 40 infantry mm. and I think suddenly we're able to kind of blow the roof off that and yeah. add something to it that's that's where our imagination takes us, and I think what the, what the RC have done is unlock that space in a very compelling way. Well, they've turned it on its head, because now, actually, you've got to take a couple of mechanised options to right. unlock your troops, not the other way around. So so suddenly everything is it's bigger, it's more exciting. It's and you know what they would do, is you yes. go and take the building. Yeah. Like a tank kind of ploughed through. And if you remember those scenes from mm. World War II movies, mm. where the Tiger tank comes over the top, crumbs, everything changes. Yes. Well, there's now four Tiger tanks. Well, and, you, and your anti-tank infantry, they're, they're <laughs> hungering down in the vehicle, waiting to get the rear armour. Taking the strategic and points, because the yeah. armour can't clear them out, so they're there. You've got, so there's a whole load of colour and, and passion and excitement, and it's not tons to paint. Mm -hmm. They're coming in kind of three packs, yep. so you'll be able to pick them up with the resin bits in them. So you just convert them away, get them going, and you start putting brigades of, um, of, of mechanised units on the gaming table, mm -hmm. I think you're trying to fun. Can we talk just about this guy as well? Well, we can. We can. We'll, we'll do that another day. Okay. <laughs> you have to come back. You have to tune in. <laughs> but there's another tank. It's mm. coming. We've been co-oping co -oping with other companies. We've also got another fly that's going into one of the other armies. Oh, so, yes. tons and tons of stuff. We've got Matt coming in to sit down and have a go through exactly what's changed so that you can see the refinements. Yep. And uh, we'll make sure we've got a, an update note when it comes out and then we'll be showing off the new games we'll be showing off the new um weapons and vehicles and what they're doing uh, all these little resin add-ons you can just add them totally change the way a game a tank or a vehicle plays and um, so lots of stuff next couple of weeks please so i mean the only thing that's stopping us going from strength to strength and building a truly alternative sci-fi war game out there is you if you come along and have a play with us have a look have a read watch your vids um, who knows where it's going to go? We think it's going to go into Stella. <laughs> Could be epic. <laughs> um, we've got uh, two or three weeks of storage coming up. Dive into them, and I really do hope you'll come and join us on our on our firefight. Absolutely. Thanks, everybody. Thank you.